Hey, students and family members, Mr. Panza showing you how to save and share your finished Taggle. If you logged in as a guest, which again means all you did was came to this link, clicked on the link, clicked Create Now, and started creating a Taggle that way, in order to share it, you're not logged in, so you only have two options. Let me show you those options. Option number one, copy a link. The way you do that is by clicking the Share button, clicking where it says Link, and when you get this piece of information here, click Copy to Clipboard. All that's really doing is copying the web address that you can now share it. In order to share it, you'll want to open a Google Doc, like I did here. I've named it Taggle Address, and all I have to do is go Edit and Paste. There's the address. That way, when you share it with your teacher, your teacher will be able to come here, click on the link, and it will take your teacher directly to your Word art. Notice that it says it was done by a guest. The other way to share your finished Taggle as a guest is by downloading the piece. In order to download, you click Download. I would suggest downloading it as a JPEG. That is a standard picture form. You could also download it as a PNG, which is a picture form, or a PDF. The other versions may be a little tricky depending on who you're sending it to. When you click Standard JPEG, it's going to download at the bottom of the website. When you click on it, it will open up for you in a regular photo gallery. You can now save this to your desktop by making a copy. Once you've made a copy, you have successfully saved your Wordle as a guest. If you were logged in, however, you wouldn't get this error message when you click Save. When you click Save, you'll notice if you're not logged in, it's going to suggest that you do log in. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and show you what happens when you do save this Word art. Now that I'm successfully logged in, and I can tell because I see my username up here, it has transferred my guest art to my saved art. I can click on it. It will show me the exact word art that I had, and any changes I make, for example, let's say I take this word teacher, and I change the color so that it's red, and I apply it, and now I save it. It will say your word art has been successfully saved. That way, any time I log back into Taggle and I see Mr. Panza name art, I'll click on it, it will open it, and I have it saved. I don't have to worry about it disappearing after I exit Taggle. Hope this helps you learn how to save word art in Taggle.